Today we're gonna transfer our images that we made last week onto a clay tile. And in order to do that, so last week we talked about Keith Haring and we drew a Keith Haring inspired tile that represents you. Um, I put my dog, I put art and music because those are three things that represent me. In order to transfer this image onto the clay later, we're gonna use a 6B pencil. And this is really, really dark and it will um, help transferring this image. So I'm just gonna go around and trace over my lines. It's pressing down so these lines are very dark. So any words I'm not going to trace over with the 6B pencil because actually the image is going to be reversed when we transfer it onto the clay. So any of these words I'm just going to write right onto the clay when we're ready to do that. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the 8 inch by 8 inch cardboard square to measure out your tile so it is perfect to match our drawings i'm going to get it the closest to the edge as possible so i have all of this clay to work with and add on to my tile so i'm just going to hold it down and use a popsicle stick to slice through the clay this is going to be your clay knife that is going to slice through it i'm going to hold that square with one hand and i'm going to press down with the popsicle stick and glide it down the edge of the cardboard and this will give it a nice clean cut. I'm also just going to put this aside in case I need it for my design later. So again, I'm just going to press it against the edge of the cardboard and slide it right down and then place the remaining clay over there to work with. And after you're done with the slicing, you can lift up the cardboard and you'll have the perfect square eight by eight tile. You can go over the edges with your finger just to smooth them out so they're not really super sharp when they come out of the kiln. Now I'm ready to transfer my image onto my tile just so I know where everything is going to be placed. I'm going to flip over my image and place it onto the clay and then I'm going to gently rub and massage the paper and this is going to make the image transfer onto the clay. Now I'm going to peel up the paper and you will see the image. So now you're going to decide which parts of your tile you want raised up. Um, this is going to be an additive process and which parts of your image you're going to scratch away to make um, that image appear. I'm going to make the person, the dog, those are going to be raised up. Everything else I'm going to scratch later on. I'm going to take my scissors and I do have another image just in case this one gets ruined. I might need that later. So I'm just going to cut around the parts that I want to be raised up. With the clay that I have extra, I'm just going to, again, flip it over and rub 
And I'm gonna transfer this image again onto a new piece of clay, a new slab of clay. And then I'm gonna attach it onto my tile. So here's my little dog. I'm gonna now go in with my needle tool to cut out this dog. So be super careful, these are really pointy, but just like the popsicle stick, I'm gonna stick it into the clay and I'm gonna go around the dog. That leg's a little small, but that's okay. So here's my doggy. I'm gonna use my fingers just to smooth it out a little bit. And when I'm attaching a new piece of clay to my tile, we are gonna use the scratch and attach method. This is slip. This is kind of like the glue of um, clay. So whenever you're attaching something to a piece of clay, you're gonna wanna use the slip as the glue. And we're gonna use a fork to scratch little marks on the back of what you're attaching and where you're attaching it. That's why we transferred this image so you know exactly where to attach it. I'm gonna go in with my fork and I'm gonna make little marks where that dog image is on my tile. And then I'm gonna scratch the back of my dog. If you don't do this, then when the clay is drying, it's just gonna lift up and break apart. So it's really important for you to scratch both the piece that you're attaching to the tile and where you're attaching it. After you do that, I'm gonna take my paintbrush and dip it into the slip. And remember, this is like the glue that holds these together. I'm gonna put it on the tile over those scratch marks. And I'm also going to put it onto the back of the dog. Then I'm going to attach the dog to my tile. And I'm just gonna press down a little bit And you can take your fingers to smooth this out. So you're gonna press it down and then you're gonna smooth it. Um, if you want, you can also use your wood tools to smooth out in between here and your fingers to make this look nice and neat. If you don't like how something looks, like that skinny little leg is bothering me, I'm just gonna take my tool and my loop tool, and I'm gonna just cut that part off. And I'm gonna attach a new whittle leg. Even the smallest little things, you're gonna need to scratch and attach because this is so tiny, I am going to use my needle tool to scratch this little leg. And I'm going to scratch where it's going. And I am going to still put some slip on both parts before attaching it. I'm just going to smooth this on so now I have a new little leg. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with my person. I'm gonna flip it over, find a spot that's big enough and massage the back of it. So the image transfers onto the clay. I'm going to peel this up. I need to rub it a little bit more. There we 
go. And you'll see that image right there. All right, so I'm gonna use my needle tool again. I'm just gonna cut this clay a little bit closer before I go in. And I'm just gonna go around the outside of my clay. Now that hand is going to be like attached to the hip. So I'm just going to cut that triangle out and then pick it, that piece out to make it look like that hand is still right on the hip. Okay, so now I'm going to peel this away. And I'll have my person ready to attach. And remember, you can't just put this right on top or it's going to fall off. I'm going to use my fork again. And if the where you're attaching it is a, a smaller area, you can also use your needle tool but just remember to go scratch it one way and then the other way. And then I'm also going to scratch the back. Make sure you scratch the right way. I take my slip my paintbrush, I'm gonna dip it in and then paint, put some slip over top. And I'm going to attach it right onto my tile. You don't have to push too hard, but you wanna make sure that it's gonna attach right onto that clay and not pop off. So I'm applying a little bit of pressure and smoothing out the edges. I am gonna make, I'm gonna attach a coil around my frame to have that pop out as well. So I'm just gonna take a skinny piece of scrap clay that I had and I'm going to roll it with my fingers to make a skinny coil. And I'm going up and down, trying to get this as even as I can, but don't worry if it's not because Keith Haring was very free with his art and never had straight or perfect lines. So after my coil, I am gonna scratch and attach again. I'm gonna use the needle tool and just scratch right where I want that coil to be. I'm going to use my slip and just go right along the line. And on my coil. And then I'm going to start to attach this. And I'm gonna repeat this process. I'm gonna take a skinny piece of clay 
and I'm gonna roll it into my coil and then continue around the edge. Before we let this get leather hard, I'm just going to go around and smooth any parts that have little marks on it with my finger. I'm going to go around with my popsicle stick just to outline where the edge of the frame is going to be. Just putting a little indent. And then we're going to let this dry a little bit. Now that the clay is almost leather hard i'm gonna apply some glaze i picked red for the frame and then i'm gonna cover the whole um middle with black after that dries we're gonna start scratching that off so what glaze i used is the stroken coat and this can be applied on bisqueware or on clay that's not fired yet so I'm going to begin with the red and I'm just going to dip my paintbrush into the red glaze and I'm going to glob it on around the frame of the clay. I'm now going to use the black with a different paintbrush and I'm going to apply the black on the rest of the tile. We're going to be using this graffito technique to be carving away the black um, glaze and making some designs in our tile after this. So with the black, I am just going to cover the rest of this tile, giving it a nice thick coat. I'm just going to use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process a little bit for the glaze so we can start on this graffito. The last part of the project is we're going to be scratching away some of the glaze to make the other images and designs around our person or whatever the raised up portion of your tile is so there's two ways how to do this you can freehand it or you can transfer the image or i'm just gonna put this here and i'm gonna press in with a pencil just a little bit And 
And this is going to make an indent on the clay a little bit. There we go. So then you could take a tool. I have some scraping tools like this, um, the needle tool on the back. Some of these needle tools have a little ball on it and they're really good for scraping. And you're gonna trace over that design and scrape away the right on the lines that I just made. So you want to see the clay underneath. So you're scraping that black. And I already transferred the little boom box right here. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with this needle point tool with the ball and scrape away. And any of this scraps, you can just put right by your tile. And we're gonna clean those up at the end. And then Maybe you want to freehand some of this. I'm going to just freehand the little call out bubble and write dog. And I'm also going to go around my person and the dog just to make that stand out a little bit more. Oh, here I'm just using a dry paintbrush to wipe away any of the crumbs that didn't come off. And you can do this while you're working, if there's too many on your tile, or you can wait till the end. Okay, so I'm just going to continue working on this. I'm going to make it in super speed and I'm probably just going to freehand most of this because they're simple designs but if you want you can cut them out and press them onto your Here is my finished tile. Now I'm gonna keep it flat and let this totally dry out for a week, maybe longer, and put this in the kiln to see how it turns out.